Hey guys, uh, John from Heroes World here, and I just want to do a quick unboxing of these new, well, this new to us, the 112 uh, collective figure line. Uh, we've been recommended to carry this line by a lot of customers, so we figured we'd try one out. This one in particular is the Commander Rogers, so uh, kind of a Captain America variant, I guess you'd call it. So let's take a look. I have not seen these myself, so I'm hoping it's pretty nice. Um, now they are a little bit pricey, they're kind of, uh, this one is about 110 each. Uh, Canadian for us. Uh, what I've been kind of told is they're kind of like small scale hot toys type figures. So it's got a plastic slipcase here. Here's the box. Here's the artwork on the back again. Um, not the best quality on the uh, on the picture on the back here, but let's hope the figure is pretty nice. So the slipcase here. Uh, so this one is a previews exclusive, so only comic shops like us will have it. Um, as opposed to some of the online retailers. So let's see. It's got a magnetic opening here. It does have a nice piece of plastic here to protect the, uh, the window. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. But you will be able to do when you come into a shop like us, you'll be able to see it. And, and, and it does give you a good, pretty good look at the figure. But let's open him up and take a look. So he is actually not sealed at all. So. I'm going to open this guy up. Packaging. So he's got two pieces. He's got some under piece here. So he does come with a stand. And then there's some straps here. Let's take the off. So again, another piece of plastic here to protect your figure and the paint job. So these guys are highly posable, and they feature cloth detail. So his top here is like a spandex type outfit. Stitching on the back is a little visible, but this is a smaller piece, so it's going to be hard to hide stitching on the figure like that. Uh, the pants are cloth. This belt is rubber. The boots are rubber as well. And they've got articulation. I'll be back. Uh, sorry guys, I'm back. Just had to answer a quick call. So I tape these live at the shop. Sometimes they get inter interrupted. Uh, so here we go. This is Mr. Steve Rogers. Uh, I think he would look a little bit nicer with the straps. So let me see if I can quickly put that on for you guys. There you go. Adds a little more kind of detail. Uh, the head sculpt is very nice. Uh, so now the cloth is going to be kind of like, some people are going to like it, some people are not going to like it. Uh, this one is not bad. Uh, this is a little more kind of form fitting than the other ones I've seen. They do have like some uh, Old Man Logan style ones and some other characters like that have a little more like jackets and all that kind of other accessories. So and let's see. So they do come with interchangeable hands shield and there's a knife. So let's pop the knife. Knife goes in the back here. It's in there pretty nice. Um, the shield uh, actually has a magnet in it which uh, sticks to his forearm. So if you put in one of the other hands, so let's go. Let's, uh, As always, you want to pull on these straight away from the figure. You don't want to do it on any kind of angle because then you risk snapping the uh, little peg. And unlike a Hot Toys, this does not come with extra pegs, so you might be hard pressed to find one. So this one here, hard to do it on camera and show you, but I'm going to put his hand in the shield here. Or I'm going to attempt to. It's on. And the little magnet in his forearm is going to hold it in place. Uh, and I'll just add another hand on here for the fun of it. Alright, so he's doing a little thumb.
thumbs up soldier. So it's a pretty nice figure. Uh, if you guys like them, we'll start carrying more. Uh, we, as of the time of this recording, we are uh, July 25th. I do have uh, this guy in stock. He is about 110. Uh, so thanks for watching.